Jen, President Biden is urging Americans not to panic, but to be prepared. The president and other experts are saying it's only a matter of time before the variant shows up in the United States. And right now, at least 44 countries, including the U.S., have imposed travel restrictions on several African countries. Overnight, France and Japan both confirmed their first cases of the variant. Here in the U.S., there are no cases, but New York has put a state of emergency in place. The potential threat from Omicron comes as the U.S. is already seeing a COVID spike. With the colder weather and a busy travel weekend, still many questions remain unanswered, and health experts say it will take time to get them. Shouldn't be longer than a few weeks. The countries that are looking at the hospitalizations that they have and sequencing the virus to determine which of the variants is leading to those hospitalizations. So we should know in a few weeks whether it's Omicron that's leading to these surges. Morning. Uh, Chairman Cape this morning, Wall Street continues to closely watch the situation. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell is set to testify today about what could happen if the Omicron variant prolongs the pandemic. Powell says it could keep prices rising, hurt job growth, and make the supply chain crisis worse. In his prepared testimony, Powell talked about the impact that the Delta variant had this summer and, of course, spreading throughout this global, excuse me, spreading throughout the world. We're live in Cambridge. Josh Brogadier, WCVB News Center 5.